Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome back to Common Sense, our monthly program sponsored by the Ohio Valley Bank, uh, where we talk about different uh, different topics in the, in the banking world and how they impact small businesses. Good to be back here in 2017, yes. Ryan. Good to be back, especially after the holidays. It's good to be back to work. It's good to be back. Tough to come back. It is tough to come back. Tuesday after. was a little tough this week for some of us, but yeah. hey, we're back in gear and gearing up for uh, the big snowstorm coming tonight. Yeah, Maybe an inch or two of snow. We've got our email from work that says don't park over the sidewalk so we can get the sidewalks clean. And keep it clean. Good the, reminder. The first one of the year is always a, uh, a little bit of yep. adjustment for everybody to get used to. But And the kids have been back in school for two days, and I'm sure they'll have another day off on Friday. They're ready for a big yeah. break. That's right. <laughs> kind of workplace reacclimation is what we call yep. it. That's yep. right. Get back into it. Well, anyway, today we've got a really good uh, a program going to bring to you here. We've got uh, Kyla Carpenter. She's the Vice President and Director of Marketing at Ohio Valley Bank. And Kyla, welcome to the program today. Welcome. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Glad good. to be here. Well, good. Uh, well, maybe you could start off a little bit uh, by telling us about yourself and what you do at the bank, maybe how long you've been there with Ohio Valley Bank. I understand you've been there for quite some time. <laughs> a little bit of time. Um, as you said, I'm Vice President, Director of Marketing for Ohio Valley Bank. And I have been with the company now for, well, it will be 27 years coming up in March. I'll celebrate my 27th anniversary with the bank. Wow. And it's been a wonderful, wonderful time. Um, I, I have a bachelor's in marketing that I obtained from Marshall University and grew up right here in this area and married my husband in Gallup Police and settled down here. And so it's kind of a recurring theme with the folks we've had on here from Ohio Valley Bank. I think it's something that's very stable across the entire organization where, you know, most of the folks in all the leadership roles within the bank are, are from right here in Southern Ohio, grew up right here. And uh, I think that speaks uh, volumes to the success of the bank in the region is the individuals are caring about the, the community and committed to the community so and you'll you'll find important. i appreciate that you notice that you'll you'll find that a lot of the folks at the at the bank that i work with we've been there for years many of us have been there you know 10 20 30 years which is rare as mm. you know in in this day and age so right. that speaks highly of, of how well they take care of the employees and their yeah. commitment to the employees and the community absolutely yeah. absolutely well you're the director of marketing there at OVB, um, and maybe we can start off by talking just a little bit about the difference in marketing is what you know we refer to it in the business world, yes. and advertising, and that's what a lot of folks commonly think of is advertising, but really maybe talk a little bit about the difference in those two and how marketing's really a little more focused and planned. Absolutely. Um, as you said, most people think of advertising, which is what the folks see. It might be the newspaper ads, the, the billboards, the letters they might receive, the, um, you know, things even, even as far as social media. Marketing goes so much further. It's everything inclusive. It's the whole thought process, and it is the planning. And that was a key word, and I appreciate you picking up on that because planning and marketing is the key. You have to have a plan, you have to have a direction, you have to have a goal that you set and that you work toward. Otherwise, you're wasting a lot of, of time and resources. Right. Well, when you talk about market, having a plan, having a marketing mm -hmm. plan, um, you know, sometimes the hardest thing to figure out is where to start. Absolutely. So where, can you give some advice on that with <laughs> Probably, and I, and I would say this is probably true of, of any company, regardless of size, but especially for small businesses, um, research. Research is your first priority. You have to know about your product or your service. You have to know about your company, its strengths, its weaknesses. You have to know about your target audience. You also have to know about your community and your competitors. Research is your key to drive everything, and from that point, then you can set a plan. And the plan is imperative. You have to have, as I said, the plan so that you can be proactive in your approach and not reactive. Okay. So, you know, one of the things that we look, look at, you know, whenever we drive down the street or we look for a place to eat or a place to shop is 
and it's familiar with a lot of small businesses, is just kind of having that one identity or that brand yes. that you want to put out there so your people, your customers can identify with your company. And mm -hmm. um, do you see a lot of small businesses that you've been around maybe struggle with that some or, or talk to them about the importance of continuing that brand? And I, I think small businesses especially do struggle with that a little bit just because the brand is your identity. Um, with Ohio Valley Bank, like it, your brand should be the, the all-encompassing attitude and feeling of your company. And for instance, where I work, I know it's, it's a little bit larger and we're talking about small businesses, but when you're talking about brand regardless of size, um, when you um, look at, at where you're at and where you want to be, you want to make sure your brand and your image and what the public thinks of you basically is true reflection of who you are as a company. And as I said, for instance, Ohio Valley Bank, we, um, our brand is community first and that shines through in everything we do. It guides every decision we make. It, does, it guides every product we offer or every service we offer, even so far as to um, some of the special initiatives that we do in the community. Mm -hmm. So a lot of small businesses that we work with, you know, we, we talk to them about the importance of you know, conveying that consistent message or Absolutely. whether it's a logo or, you know, they might invest, you know, they might gather up enough money in reserve to put together a sign or have a nice sign mm -hmm. made for their storefront. Right. But if they go out and have, you know, t-shirts printed as promotional materials and just do something different with those, different colors, different mm -hmm. font, different print, it's really counterproductive to their overall marketing campaign because they're really not bringing all that together exactly. making it consistent. Consistency, Consistency is, the is the key word. Um, when it comes to branding color and, and your images, all of that works together because we're a very visual creature. Right. Um, everything we do and decide how we feel, a lot of it comes from our, our visual interests. So consistent color. Um, and, and determining when you're determining what color, that would even be, you know, you would even need to decide about yourself. As I said, mm -hmm. we're going to keep going back to thinking of who you are and what you want to portray because the color expresses the attitude of your company. Different right. colors would express different exactly. attitudes, different feelings, different thoughts. Exactly. Sure. Okay. So, what are some examples of how you've um, how you incorporate a High Valley Bank's brand into marketing. Okay. Um, a lot of what we, as I said, you'll see community first in just about everything we do, but it mm -hmm. is so much more than a tagline. We um, incorporate that into our decision making, as I said, but even just advertising. We were talking about the difference between marketing and advertising. Mm -hmm. Our ads, um, we make sure we focus on community interests, community images, community um, um, uh, uh, special places and, and things that are important to our communities. And then we also take it a step farther because as we said, marketing and advertising are different. So from the marketing side of it, the, the holistic side of it, yeah. we're also looking at um, doing things in our community such as we have at Ohio Valley Bank we have um, impact days okay. which is pretty unique and special something that we're proud of um, our company gives every employee three days to go out into the public and volunteer these wow. are paid days wow. and these are on top of vacation days okay. but we're encouraged to actually go out and get involved in the community in the community sure. that's, well, that's great yep. that is great so Obviously, working within the marketing department of the bank and a lot of customers at the bank, and obviously all of their finances run through the bank and loans, right. and it's important that those businesses are successful Absolutely. for many reasons. Um, if you have a, a client company that's with the bank that needs some help with some marketing or mm -hmm. branding, what are 
some suggestions you might give to them? How can they, can you help them develop a brand or do you have some resources? We have some great ideas for some resources. Um, there are a lot of resources out there for all different sizes of businesses. Um, but especially with small business, um, at the, the risk of tooting Ohio State University South Center's own horn, the OSU South Center's um, Small Business Development Center program is a phenomenal place to go to get guidance and direction on that. Um, but in addition, the Small Business Administration is a great resource mm -hmm. to gather some of this. And there are many other things. If anyone would, you know, is listening or sees this and would like to contact me, I'd be happy to, to give them some other suggestions and ideas and things they could do. Right. Because again, Absolutely. it depends on size of, of company. What you can do and what you can't do varies. Right. That was a great advertisement and we didn't have to pay her to say that. That's either. exactly right. <laughs> well, and, and you know, like you said, that's something that we can help companies that we work with with the Small Business Development mm -hmm. Center along Absolutely. those avenues. You know, Actually, we, I ran a, plan, a business plan this morning before <coughs> we came here. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's the one area that I thought could probably use the most work was in the marketing, uh, just the marketing plan in general. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, so, well, you know, and like we talked about a little bit earlier, you know, putting together that marketing plan, you mm -hmm. know, that's something we can assist with. And the business owner obviously has all the ideas in their head of what they want to do, where they want to go, how they want to get there. But putting it all together mm -hmm. is the difficult part. And that's something that, that we can help them through. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just, how do I do this? Just kind of the uncertainty of how to do something for the first time. Exactly. You know, we've all done things for the first time, whether it's, you know, assemble children's Christmas toys. <laughs> you know, if it might, you might With open up the package here recently <laughs> and, and you sit down and spend three hours putting something together. Yeah. But I guarantee you, if you would go and put a second one together, you could do it in a half an hour. Exactly. Sure. Very easily. Yeah. And that's the same way with writing a business plan or a marketing plan. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of that uncertainty once you work through all those steps. That's a good point. Well, and that's uh, someone, um, a dear friend of mine many years ago, uh, one of her favorite lines or phrases was, never be afraid to ask. Only, only a fool is afraid to ask. So we all need help. Never be afraid. Every successful person in this world has asked for help and asked for guidance and even just something to bounce ideas off yeah. of. Some right. of us, it just takes a little longer to ask. <laughs> well, and there are no stupid I'm, I'm questions. I'm there with you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. But you brought up a point, too, mm -hmm. with the, the, the um, marketing plans that made me think. We were talking about marketing plans, but you know, one of the key elements, too, with a marketing plan is most companies, regardless of size, you should also have a strategic plan in place where your company wants to go, what direction, right. sales goals, um, you know, investments, everything. There should be a strategic plan, and a lot of your marketing plan is going to come from that strategic plan. Right, and that can be vastly different depending exactly. on who your customer or audience is. Completely different plans. Exactly. Depending on and it's really important that it's tailor-made to, to to reach that to direct reach that. audience. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and then on the other side of that coin, uh, what are some of the pitfalls that you think businesses might encounter if they don't have a strategic plan in place or a marketing plan or, uh, or at least something? Uh, the two key pitfalls, in my opinion, would be wasting time and wasting resources. I kind of think of it as um, going out and, and, and shooting a bow and arrow. If you, you, most of us have a target and we're aiming toward that target, we aren't going to go out into a field and just shoot an arrow up into the air and hope and pray that it, <laughs> it comes down and lands in the right spot. Um, having your, yeah. your plan in place, knowing what direction you want to go, that way even when something unexpected or unusual comes up, it gives you a little more of a guidance in how to maneuver around that. Yeah, and that's, uh, so funny you answered it that way because that's pretty much what we tell our our SBDC clients with mm -hmm. the business plan is you know some sometimes you might have a plan in place and it doesn't always go the way you wanted to but if mm -hmm. you have that business plan you can go back and and kind of regather yeah. yourself and say well this didn't work we might need to tweak it a little bit 
and then so you've got a working and the marketing plans I'm sure is a working plan exactly too. and especially with small businesses because their resources are so limited mm -hmm. to begin with yeah. you know you need to mitigate wasting of time and, and resources as much as possible sure right so you know when we help folks put together a business plan or marketing plan there's always some you know main areas of that plan that mm -hmm. they need to address and focus exactly. mm -hmm. and, and I'm obviously you know within the marketing it's very important that you address critical areas mm -hmm. and what are some of the, the critical areas when putting together a marketing plan that that you think that really should be addressed or you know they should contain these certain elements within certain that plan. elements of the plan um, first and foremost as I said you've got to do the research first mm -hmm. because you your first part of your plan is developing and determining your target um, beyond that then you have to incorporate how to, you know, what resources, what your, your dollar limit is so that you can then allocate your resources and what you have available to those, those goals. And at the, the very end, measurement, regardless of size, is always going to be key because every year, even at Ohio Valley Bank, you know, we have a plan, we, we continually stick to that plan, but as things change and we have to shift a little bit, we review it at the end of the year, make adjustments as needed to then guide what we do in the following year. Yeah, so it's important to go back and look and make sure and, Absolutely. and measure that. Absolutely, that is key. Yes. Yep. A so, plan doesn't work real well if you just put it in a drawer. It's great to write a plan, <laughs> but if you put it in a drawer, it's useless. It's useless. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, for the computer impaired like I am, <laughs> uh, you know, a lot of the businesses that Brad and I work with or our counselors work with around uh, the region don't have a substantial budget set aside for right. design, for marketing, for advertising, for all of the above. Exactly. A lot of times it's just, let me get open and then I'll, mm -hmm. you know, take a little bit of the first year's profits or the first month's profits, put them aside and we'll advertise mm -hmm. with it. So, as far as designing or coming up with, um, you know, like graphic design, mm -hmm. do you have any tips that would be helpful to small businesses uh, on a low budget? Absolutely, sure. because it, it actually is very rare for most small businesses to be able to handle or, or conduct their own graphics and, and mm -hmm. advertising mm -hmm. design. Um, but the good thing is, especially with small businesses, and if you're just getting started in this, um, Colleges and universities are great resources to go out and talk to. Um, I know the University of Rio Grande has a, a program, mm -hmm. and most of them have programs that they're more than happy to help you or, or kind of let their class get some um, hands-on hands -on. right. training, sure. so to speak, yep. and help you with that. Okay. So colleges and universities are great. There are also some online, of course, resources, um, um, Ink Space, GIMP, there, there's several, there are many YouTube tutorials right. that you can use, but I just, I, I'm a fan of keeping it local and personal, mm -hmm. sure. and colleges and universities are a great place to. Right. Well, so we, we have done some uh, company projects here at Rio recently mm -hmm. with some, some of our client companies that we've mm -hmm. worked with. And, you know, kind of the surprising thing that, that you do find from projects like that where you get a lot of different people involved and maybe some people that don't really know the industry that well mm -hmm. is, you know, you, you start on the project, you start working toward some specific opportunity, but then all these outside thinkers yes. come up with new ideas, new opportunities mm -hmm. yep. that you as an individual business owner really don't think of. Oh, yes. And it's just that new blood, that kind of that new freshness that comes into the company mm -hmm. and gives you new mm -hmm. ideas. That And when you're a larger company, you have that luxury. You have like, that luxury. Like at the bank, we're able, we get a group together frequently. Mm -hmm. um, even though there's just, you know, a few of us in marketing, we'll get a whole group together to bounce ideas off of and, and get thoughts and, you know, right. get everybody involved. Mm -hmm. Right. And a lot of times small businesses that we see struggle with that. Exactly. And it's just like, you know, how, how you start out and you're so focused on the daily operations mm -hmm. of keeping the business going, 
growing the business and promoting the business sometimes gets overlooked because yeah, you don't sure. have time to it do does. it all. <laughs> it really you just does. really don't. Yeah. So. <clears throat> so if we could, maybe we could flip just a little bit and go from marketing to advertising. Okay. And I know we talked earlier that there's a, a difference a in that. So, um, you know, what are some elements that effective advertising would contain developing an advertisement for certain products or whatever? Again, for those who aren't tired of hearing it, after you've determined your target, um, <laughs> You make sure you have highlighted the features and benefits right up front, narrow those down so that, you know, too much verbiage just gets lost, but um, have your, your features and benefits that are most important to that target, mm -hmm. list those up front. Um, those are, that's the key at, you know, toward the, the at some point in your ad, you want to have what we in the, the business call the call to action, what you want that ad to accomplish, what you want that consumer hearing or reading mm -hmm. that ad to do sure. in response. But um, compliance you know, and, and legal issues, things like that will always factor in too. And that, that's a whole other... And a lot of times. That's a day long topic. <laughs> yes. Yeah, if you do see a, an advertisement on a certain rate or a good, a check, if you open a checking account, right. this happens or whatever. A lot of times, right down at the bottom, you see this real fine print that you almost have to get a magnifying glass out to, uh, yes. to look at. And uh, what what does that usually say or entail? What, entail? Why? Yeah. Do we need to that's, read it as a consumer? <laughs> that's, I, we get this question um, for anyone who's ever been in marketing gets this question mm -hmm. from everyone including their own family members and you know what that entails is is in a nutshell legal disclosures that are required by the US government. Now that is true regardless of whether you're a bank or any other type of business. Okay. Banks just have a lot more regulations, yeah. so we get to have more fine print. <laughs> um, but it, it is true of any business, so we recommend if you aren't aware, or even if you are and you just need to keep touch on things, always check the Uniform Commercial Code um, with your okay. business and see what's required. That was going to be my question is, how would small businesses keep up on that? How would they know what regulations are needed, what the right verbiage to put on the advertisement to keep them out of trouble? So, And it, and yeah. it varies depending obviously on the type of business, but okay. you know, what you would want to do is, is consult the Uniform Commercial Code, but then you might, there are also resources online that can help you understand because you get into some of that legal. Sure legal stuff that sometimes is over all of our heads. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, once we've developed some of that material to put out there, mm -hmm. is there maybe some secret ways you can share with some of the viewers about opportunities they can take up? You know, a lot of companies, again, don't have much money to spend. Exactly. So maybe some low cost or free avenues to kind of get that message out there to the consumer? Absolutely. And, and that's the best part of marketing and especially for small businesses. There are so many things that don't require um, funds and investment at all, or at least very minimal. Um, to me, and, and I'm a former chamber board member, so I, I <laughs> preach chamber, but you know, leverage your community and a great place to start is joining your chamber of commerce, your local chamber if you haven't already. Get involved in the events and the business um, programs and opportunities that they have there. Because networking, getting out in the public, um, getting other professionals in your region to get to know you and refer you um, makes a world of difference and that is absolutely free. The referrals are the best. Um, some other things are, are, you know, you've, many people have probably heard the term guerrilla marketing, but what that is is just creativity. Creativity to the max. Um, things that don't cost a lot, that get your company out there and notice, and gets you free media coverage. That's another key yeah. thing. Do, do, create, do things that create buzz in the community. Help your community. Go out and draw pictures on the sidewalk and sidewalk chalk. Anything that, that creates buzz and gets people talking 
will not only, as we all know, go quickly on social media, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but your local media, your newspapers, and, and mm -hmm. other local people will start talking about it and seek you out for information. Well, I, I know we're running short on time, but there is one other uh, thing that I, one question or topic I'd like to ask or talk about real quick, and that is, uh, uh, you know, community members need to realize how much, um, a, you know, we hit on it earlier with the bank being a part of the community mm -hmm. and yes. taking, you know, having three days off to go be a part of something. That, that's only a small part of it because, you know, when, when the banks are at the fair and they're bidding on uh, livestock. livestock when the Girl Scouts come in and say we need or the 4-H comes in and mm -hmm. say we need or could we have a $50 donation or whatever that's all built into your marketing plan is that, is that correct? As part of the marketing plan we set aside a, a certain level and it's a very high percentage mm -hmm. in, in our case because yeah. again our key focus is community first mm -hmm. so that's what drives that portion of our marketing plan and we have a very high percentage of donation budget um, for our plan. And that's because investing back in the community reaps, in our opinion, reaps um, benefits tenfold. Sure. Yeah. So um, for a small business, mm -hmm. any kind of uh, an idea of how much they should be thinking about maybe budgeting out of their... Um, activities for marketing? I know it varies depending, yeah, it on, varies what depending on, on what you're trying to do. The, a, a good safe estimate, um, the, the Small Business Administration um, recommends 7 to 8% of your revenue or expected revenue stream. But even that, especially if you're a, a new or, or very small business, even that can be a little steep sometimes. But again, but set aside a certain amount. You can't start a business or run a marketing plan of any sort without having at least an idea of how much you can spend and what you can do. Right. So don't put a business plan together as a prospective business owner. Yes. Come to Ohio Valley Bank and want a half million dollar loan to start a restaurant and say, I don't have anything for advertising or marketing my budget. Exactly. It's all going to be through word of mouth. That is a key so part of your that. strategic plan. <laughs> okay, all right. So I better very have key. some real dollars budget in there, yes. or I'm probably not going to get the loan. That is very okay. true. <laughs> okay, well, great. Well, uh, it's I been think very we're about informative. Out of time. Yeah. Thank you thank very you much. I, I appreciate sharing a lot of information, a lot of good information. But uh, Kyla, thank you so much for coming on the program today. Um, pleasure to have you. Thank and you. It was uh, an honor to be here. Continuing a great string of, of guests we've had from the bank and yep. very great personalities and a wonderful time. So, but anyway. All right. Well, I guess Thanks. that's all till the next time, and uh, we will see you back here in February. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Thank you.